screen in there. Just freaking feed it to it. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. First thing I want to say today is Happy Boxing Day. Merry Christmas for yesterday. Hopefully you all had a good Christmas, you and your families, all my friends, my second friends and families out there, all safe and sound at home with their Christmas gifts and this and that and the other friggin' things. I hope you're all doing good. Today's Boxing Day, and I'm gonna work on the truck for a few minutes. Put a new heater in yesterday. I didn't do a video on it, I apologize. It's just a uh, 220, 240 volt, whatever you wanna call it, 220 or 240 volt heater. I wired her up in about 20 minutes, and it works great. It's quieter. I don't have cords everywhere from this the 110s and I have plugs I can use now. So that's kind of nice. So we slapped that up there. It was on sale at Prince's Auto. So up it goes. But what I want to do today is I got this truck just totally cocked right over. I do. Both sides are ripped apart now. Let me see if I can't get you a light or two in here. I really need to figure out a better light system for when I'm working out here in the garage I do. Hopefully you can see. Let me see. Can you? Yeah, you can see. So I got everything taken apart here as you see and this and that and this other thing up here and whatnot. So I'm deciding I'm gonna change the ball joints. So we're not gonna do much today. I gotta wait for them to come in. So I gotta wait for them to come in. We'll change them and knock that one out. What I wanna do today is nothing big. Just take a look at it and say, how you doing? And maybe paint in the cup so it has like a week or two to dry. Because we need a week or two to dry. Now I did clean this off yesterday and blow it a little bit, but I'm gonna spray around this with some degreaser or as you call brake clean. So we can maybe get some paint onto that. But I'm gonna stay away from the ball joint, of course, because I don't wanna paint the ball joint even if we're gonna knock it out. I probably should knock it out first, but we won't. And let's just say we did. We'll just give that a quick spray. There we go. I didn't have much of that left, did I? Take out that, take out this, and wipe that off. So now what we need to do is, I have to call that a day. See you later. Oh yeah, that heater works nice, Frank. It's nice in here. Got her sitting there about 63 right now, which is perfect for working it. It's gonna be harder than that one's done though, because that thing's just given her. Okay, so what we're gonna use here is 70% trim clad and 30% reducer, which gives you a little bit more runnier trim clad. But hey, it goes on real nice, it does. That way we can get a nice paint job in and around the cup here. I was gonna change these, but they look pretty good, believe it or not. They're better than what I thought they were. So I'm not gonna really worry about that this year. I'll just collect the parts for next year. We'll put them in next year together because I don't know if this is gonna be the right ride height anyways, this truck, to be honest with you. I'm gonna have to put her together and try her. What do you think? Leave your comments down below if you think this is gonna be the right height, ride height or not. To bring her down a little bit to match the back of the rig. The back of the rig. Oh yeah. See, not much to this. Just stick some in there, give that a little paint job. I should have took this apart at the beginning to paint this so much easier. That little paint job. I already painted the springs, so they're done. Like I said, paint around the ball joint, but don't get into her too much because you gotta get her out of there. I should knock it out now, but I'm kind of lazy today and I don't feel like doing that today. It's boxing day. I don't feel like starting to make a bunch of noise. I just wanna kind of hang out with you a little bit here and just do a nice little quiet job, if you know what I'm saying. And this is a nice little quiet job it is. Nobody here to bother us. Just the heater going in the background, giving us a nice little hum. Can you hear that? It's freaking nice. The heat's blowing down on this. So nice right now, you wouldn't believe it. Feels just like we're in Florida right now. Do you believe me? I wouldn't freaking wish, kind of, somewhat. I like to visit Florida, but I have to say it, boys, girls, peoples that are watching this video, I do love Canada. This is my home and it will never change. If you know what I'm saying? Oh, say can you see? Last thing I'm gonna do today is sing you the national anthem of Canada. I'll tell you that right now. I wouldn't do that to you. That'd be painful as an American to hear that shit. <laughs> Look at that. Man, that looks decent. See, the thing with this trim cloud is you wanna give it at least three weeks to dry, if you know what I mean. At least three weeks to dry. To get down on my knees here, I don't like that idea. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, I got a question for you while you're here. What do you all think of LED lights? You know what I'm finding with LED lights? They suck for seeing what you're doing. They really do. They kind of, ooh, I gotta clean that out up there. I gotta stop right now. Let's let that dry so I don't get shit all over my new paint. So we got a few crusties up in here we're gonna have to knock out before we paint up in there. There we go, we'll let that dry. We got some new shocks coming so I didn't paint them. They gotta come off. 
Missed a spot. It's this one over here. How you doing? Pretty good. You? Good. There we go. That was done. And it looks good. It's all pocketed. Ready to rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, missed a little bit in there. Doing her blind. Well, there we go. We got her. Oh, no. This is a little spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, careful. Ooh, we should get up in there, maybe. We missed a spot up in here, too. How you doing? Hopefully as good as me. Oh, look at that. See the heater? It catches up in here. Shut off on it. It said, we're up to temp. Let me shut off. Decent. Why wouldn't it? Okay, so that side's done. The bottom, anyway. So I'm gonna go to the other side and clean it up a little bit, and then I'll meet you over there. Okay, so here we are on this side. We're gonna do the same thing over here we are, which is paint the old doodad. If I can find a spot for Mr. Lighterowski. Hey, look at that, that's a good spot. So you can sit up there this time. Watch me from over there. Cause that's what you do, don't you? You watch me from all angles of the angles. Some people would spray paint these, but I like to brush it on. Get a nice thick coating. You know what I'm saying. Mint. That's what I'm trying to say. It's amazing how much you forget to get when you take things apart, then you really start to see where you miss with the painting. I think there's a lot. Friggin' right I did. Get it right in there. Just friggin' feed it to it. Look at that. That looks awesome. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your name is. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, that shop is dicked. Yeah, it is. Dick with a capital D. Capital, how you doing? There's no real way of doing this until you get it apart. You gotta take this stuff apart to do it right. Next year, once I buy all my airbags and tubular drop spindles and stuff, then I'll show you some real good stuff. And we're gonna put bags in this next year. That way you can have a four by four or a two wheel driver. Take your pick. What day do you feel like doing today? I feel like going four wheeling. Okay. I feel like going low riding. Okay. I feel like doing whatever I feel like doing. Okay. You probably see right up my butt crack. Okay. Why like, wouldn't you? Looks like we're almost getting her there, I would say. Oh, I forgot to blow that off. It's gonna fall right on my new paint job. Frig! Sorry, that kind of stuff happens sometimes. You can't really control that, if you know what I mean. Oh, decent. Place gonna give me shit. You kidding me? Truck finally dried. I don't smell paint anymore. Now you just paint everything again. All I can do is smell paint again. That's what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna have to say, I know, hon, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I have an addiction. It's called paint that shit. Addiction. Make it look great. Here she comes. She's coming up and give me shit. Why? Oh, maybe not. She's got it and she changed her mind. See, I kept real quiet. So we should be in the out here. See, your mom's hide. You gotta hide sometimes, dude. Don't say anything, though. No. Don't mess you. Be like, oh, maybe he's not helping it right now. I'm gonna leave. Oh, that bright light. Well, that kind of sucks. It's not in a good spot right there. I'm gonna stop right there because I gotta take that ball joint out. What's that one look like? Well, not too bad. I don't know how the hell you're gonna brush that. Well, that's kind of a pain in the dick. I would suggest painting the cup. Kind of hard to get to. Kind of end up painting all over yourself, you do. But hey, it is what it is. How's this look? Good. Yep, got that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yep. Yep, that looks good. Oh, got a spot right here. There you go. How about this side? Yep, 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 yep. There you go. Get that because you're going to see that at all. There we go. Okay, she's mint. Let's get this paint off this before we're all cocked over. See, plenty of this content's boring when I'm working on this truck. I'm going to do is paint shit. I'll tell you one thing, I got quite a few hours into painting this truck now. You know, just with black paint underneath. Man, oh man. Seems to never end. We're kind of doing things backwards too though. Should pull the front end apart when it's up in six feet in the air, but I didn't know how it was going to sit until I got the new rims and tires. So how are you going to do that? You know what I mean? You can't. So you kind of have to do it twice, which is kind of cocked over, but hey, it is what it is, it is. But that's what I did today on my boxing day. And then I'm going to go for dinner. It's dinner time tonight. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like me. Not doing anything I ain't doing. So please subscribe if you're here and watching. If you happen to be clicking on the old video and you see my ugly mug, hit me a subscribe up, why wouldn't you? I'd really appreciate that. Other than that, I love you all. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel. And until next time. You know what to do for now.